Hi guys, and FFAs. Welcome to another one of my talks. <laughs> uh, I bet you didn't know this. I am now a published writer. Not about gaming or any of this stuff. I'm a published writer for disability rights uh, organization, and I write a bi weekly column for their Monday morning memo. And uh, this week I decided to write about the overlap between autism and psychiatric disorders, including depression, and how those have impacted, have impacted me. And I do kind of say, as long as it's not aimed at a disadvantaged group, stereotypes can persist for a long time. One of them is that men, big tough men, or big tough male animals are always really tough and macho. Uh, and, I, and I talk about how because of my struggles with depression, for me that hasn't been the case at all. But I did want to talk to you a little bit about that as regards to gaming. Uh, for some gamers, becoming unhealthy is one of the things that makes gaming fat so appealing. Well, not to belittle them, but I, I personally just don't agree with that for myself. You can do what you want, but I would rather be around. And so I am trying, kind of, trying, trying to kind of thwart the, the health risks as much as I can. And, and I'm sure now that I'm doing much better job now I'm muscle gaining. But, uh, one thing I was told by Big Health that's actually correct is that, is that if when you eat, when, when you eat, when you're, uh, stressed out or you're depressed, like I have been doing sometimes, it actually backfires because they do that with, because civilians do that with food that has a lot of empty carbs and empty calories. And so this kind of becomes an, uh, a vicious cycle, which is why when I went to the store this morning, I decided to uh, get some, some non-breaded fish for snacks this week. Good source of lean carbs and lean protein. Plus a little help with this too. Uh, and one thing I'm, I'm kind of depressed about, I think sometimes people, or some people I know have overused the word depressed. But I'm quite serious about how I mean it. It's the fact that that Donald Trump won the presidential election because of foreign collusion. The fact, and 30 years ago, there wouldn't have even been a debate about whether to impeach him. And there, and there wouldn't have been a debate that I can't see Republicans three years ago, even if it was for, their, for a lot of their own party, uh, confirming the judges and cabinet members that they have. And uh, I'm going to talk a little on my main, um, I do have another YouTube channel, which is more mainstream. And I'm going to talk a little about uh, 
how I think that the system that we have in place all these time in place that federal judges are supposed to serve for their entire lives and they're not chosen by the public has kind of undemocratic and outdated. I mean, it actually even goes for justices I like, not just the kangaroo court that it is that's our current Supreme Court. I'm try I on my other channel I'm going to try to implement some changes there because it's a stupid that especially federal judges who are honestly villains how they how they should have to we should have to put up with them for the rest of their lives and uh, and. And because it's because it's because uh, we would have to put up with them otherwise for for long after Trump is gone, assuming he completes his first term, that um, now for the first time I can say I'm seriously considering leaving America either forever or until all this stuff goes away as a depressed person I've always found the the the, the uh the, the, the thing the glasses half full versus the glasses half, half empty to actually be kind of trite and uh <sighs> Here's a quote from Winston Churchill that works a lot better for me. Uh, an optimist sees the opportunity in every challenge. A pessimist sees the challenge in every opportunity. Uh, uh, yeah, so, which is why I was thinking, I was first entertained the idea of moving to Europe. I, at first I thought of it as a dilemma. It's like, I don't want to live in a country, the only Western country where equal rights for everyone on a, both a, an economic and social basis is a partisan issue, but at the same time, it's like I'm used to American culture, and all my family's here. Well, now instead of a dilemma, I am now starting to see it as a as a win win situation because. Uh, And during the time that I was uh, thinking about moving, thinking about moving, I would wait for things to get better, like for Trump's impeachment and for other reforms to be made, like Lenny's talked about about the judges. Uh, um. And, and if all that happened was by the time, by the time I was ready to move, then there would be no need for me to move. And I would just stay here and be much happier than I had been. Uh, the thing though is, there are a lot of people besides me who want Trump to get out right now and not have him finish his first term. The problem is, it's like the organization I am endorsing, refusefascism.org, it's like they're David and the, and the rest of the liberal media and action websites and organizations are like our Goliath. Uh, which is why well, I am actually working with them behind the scenes somewhat.
that's why I've been an endorsement to you. So if you really want to have Trump out of office, then what's stopping you? Hmm. And about Europe, about one of my problems about Europe is that I first I've I've actually had an interview. I actually met have met Dan Oliverio, the author of the Round World, and so some of you guys as BB encourager. I've met him in person, and he says has said that in Europe there are more chasers than shabs. Of course, he has he said some other things that my intuition tells me were bogus, but I think he's actually probably right there. There are a lot more gainers I guess in like in England and Germany. Sometimes some in France too. I don't know. Well, so yeah, I um the good thing, but there would be some benefits to me moving to Europe, Western Europe. It is a bastion of liberalism as far as policy compared to America. And uh, I'd love to be able to use the public transit and have it be convenient. And apparently you can in Europe. It's not like America apparently where, honestly, I don't think the purpose of the public transit in America is really to get you places. The purpose is, to, I think it's to punish you for not driving. And I am, it seems very pretty, I'm a big movie buff, and from the Western European movies I've seen, Western Europe looks like a very pretty place, uh, and also, The love of the major streaming sites, in my experience, is an American phenomenon. Like I said, I'm a film buff, and <laughs> if you want to irritate me, tell me how great Netflix and Hulu are. Neither has hardly any movies or shows left that aren't American and made since the 80s. And the other thing about Western Europe is, I know that um, in recent years, sometimes right-wing nationalists have been taking, taking over, but the, prob the same problems in America have been going on for so much longer that I'm pretty sure it's worse, it's much worse here. And I think you guys, you, you guys are, have been a good sport for listening to me. And, and you know, despite the, the, the stereotypes, that civilians hold about obese people. I, we actually seem to be a lot more progressive than the gay male community as a whole.